Hello everyone, I am Barkha from InsureTech and Webinar. In this video, I will give you a demo of Form Cruise to explain the features of this wonderful product we have. WinSureTech Form Cruise is a multi-tenant software as a service product that enables a user to prefer an editable accord form or any other form that has editable fields through JSON, email it to another user, get it edited or e-signed in the browser and receive the completed document back. All these features are available over the REST API as well as through the user interface. In this video, I am focusing on the user interface and in a subsequent video, I will explain the REST API for Form Cruise. All the code forms with all the versions are supported, all the carrier forms or agency, specific forms with editable fields and e-labels are supported as well. You need to go to formcruise.com, then you need to sign in. You can sign in with Google or LinkedIn. I am signing in via Google. After signing in, go to Forms, Upload Form. In the form title, you need to enter a unique form title. For example, let's write here Accord 90 Form. Below in the Browse Form, we will upload the Accord Form for Personal Automobile. So as you can see, form is successfully uploaded and to view the form, we can click on forms and then view forms. You can see all your uploaded forms here and their information like form title, form name, last activity, created date. You can find various actions like this action is for launch with test data, launch the blank form, track your form, archive your form. I will explain about this, these action icons shortly. One note about uploading the forms. We are an Accord Forms member and we can make editable Accord Forms available to you. So you won't need to upload Accord Forms here. We will explain the licensing terms also that you need to abide by. But your own forms or custom carrier forms will still need to upload it by you. Launch with the test data icon is to launch the form with the sample data pre-filled in it. So let's click here. I will launch a new file. So you can see these are e-labels and their corresponding test data values. You can change these values. It shows you the sample value only. When you open this form, you can see various fields are filled with the test data. You can edit this data in the browser and fill in the blank fields. Here I'm doing changes, then submit and your data will be saved back into Form Cruise. This data is also posted to a return URL hosted on your server so that you can also receive the data and save at your end in your AMS or CRM. After submitting, you can close the window, go back to the form list and then you can click on the track activities. And you can check the form open and submitted activities here. Coming back to the form list page, another way to open a new form is to launch the blank form without any pre-filling of data. When you click on the next icon that is launch the form, you will see the full blank form. Just like the last time, here you can fill the data in the form, applicant name. Agency name, contact name, email address, Policy NAIC code and submit it to save the changes. 
after filling the data in the form you can send the form to your customer before emailing the form you can grant permissions to your recipient such as downloading the form edit data and e-signature based on permissions granted here the recipient will see the form in the same state for example if you do not click the check box for edit data user will not be able to make changes in the form enter the name and email address you can also type a personalized message click on the email form now the recipient will receive a link in the email to launch the form according to the permissions granted he will be able to perform actions on the form let's go to the recipient's point of view now this is the email that was received i as a recipient am opening the link and launching the form here you can see the details that were already filled by the sender who will an agent most probably are present now let's add in a detail more data to some field as a client address city date zip code additional garaging address city state zip code here i am e signing the form now okay at the date the client can download the form after completion click on the submit button the form is submitted and the sender receives an email about the same you can close the document now let's come back to the sender's profile here let's track the activities of this form you can see from the action that the recipient email address is mentioned as the form was submitted it means the form has been submitted by the recipient in action you will see the last date unique form id and you can view the data in the json format and download as well again this json is also sent back to the return url so you keep on getting the latest json back to your own controller that you can define on the account configuration level you also get the unique transaction id and api to download the filled pdf and save in your ams or crm you can also open the form with the data to see the signed form and the changes made by the recipient form cruise rest api is available for every single operation that i explained here so you can see that the form cruise makes it very easy to integrate a card form filling and e signing online for your system whether you are using salesforce as your policy administration system or a web based system you can integrate form cruise to get this feature out of the box i hope this video was useful i will be back with another video to demonstrate how to use the rest api for form cruise there will also be a separate video to demo multi forms filling with form cruise and concatenating the forms together even with your read only images and documents to create the document bundle thanks for watching for any help required for accord forms al3 accord xml career management system claims management system pnc insurance ams write to us at contact@winshotech.com